click on the subscribe button and remember to press the bell icon for regular notifications from our digital blogger. Hello friends, welcome to our digital blogger. Today we are reviewing HDFC Securities, a bank based full service store broker. In this review, we will be talking about their background, pricing, brokerage, exposure, customer service, trading blocks, trading platforms and some other features that can help you to figure out whether HDFC Securities is a good choice for you or not. Let's get started. So just to give you an idea, HDFC Securities is a full service bank based stock broker that basically means that it gives you all kinds of services you want. They have a decent customer service, their reports and recommendations at fundamental and technical level. So a full service stock broker, whatever expectations you can have from such kind, you can expect from HDFC Securities as well. Bank based stock broker basically means that it's the trading arm of HDFC bank. Their main financial business is banking services while they also have a trading arm with the name of HDFC Securities. This particular company was established in the year 2000. So it's been 16, 17 years since its establishment. It also offers you a three in one demand account, which basically means that the bank account with HDFC Securities is directly linked with your tra trading account. You don't need to do manual transfers of funds every time. So whenever your trading account goes short of funds and if you're looking to buy some stocks, your money from the bank account of HDFC bank directly gets transferred to the trading account. It is a definitely good brand um, when it comes to brand equity. Over the years, HDFC bank has been able to create some sort of brand trust uh, within a couple of decades of its existence. And we would like to tell you that it is expensive in nature. So with all kind of brand trust, with all kind of services you're expecting from such a stock broker, obviously there is a premium price in place for you. We'll talk of all about those features going ahead in this video. Now, when we talk about trading products, they've got a range of uh, trading and investment uh, segments for you. So you can trade in equity, currency, mutual funds, IPOs, ETFs, bonds, fixed deposits, insurance. We have listed a few, there are at least five to seven more products that you can trade or invest in. Majorly, you can see that these include long term investments as well as short term uh, uh, profit uh, creating sort of a products as well. So it really depends on your preferences and you can pick according to that. When it comes to trading platforms, they've got a wide range. They've got a mobile app, they've got a web based application and obviously they also have a terminal based software for themselves. Now let's talk about these uh, softwares one by one. We'll start with the mobile app uh, and we will head to Google Play Store for reference on that. So HDFC Securities mobile app is rated at 3.9 by around 13,500 users. Now this is a big sample size so certainly it can be trusted. Um, out of that around 15% or less have rated this app negatively. So in a sense around 80 to 85% of users are happy with this app. So we can say that yes uh, pretty much there HDFC Securities is doing a decent job with its mobile app. Um, when it comes to the update frequency cycle last update was seen on 5th of May 2017. We are recording uh, this video in the 2nd to 3rd week of May so it's been around 8 to 10 days that this app has seen an update. Generally, we have seen that HDFC Securities updates its mobile app in a range of 3 to 4 weeks, which is a terrific number. So, it gives you kind of uh, idea that uh, what kind of focus they have on technology and what kind of user experience they want to provide to their clients when they are trading on their applications. So, with these regular updates, what they are trying to do is they are introducing new features and also they are getting rid of existing bugs into the application um, that were present in the previous uh, sort of versions. So from that particular perspective, it really gives a good idea. Um, there were few concerns with the HTC Securities mobile app. One is uh, very much specific to the portfolio section. Uh, users find a little hard time while accessing that particular area and it can be relatively slow. We are not saying that its performance is 
bad but at particular point in times and specifically if you're using a slower internet connection or bandwidth or let's say you are coming from a third tier or fourth tier city in those particular instances you might face some sort of speed related issues where accessing of dif uh, different features can be relatively slow within the application however we will certainly go ahead and recommend this application to you if you are a client or you want to be a client of hdfc securities you can safely use this particular application for your regular trading now let's talk about the other trading platforms across other devices so we are using our digital blogger.com for reference here SDFC Securities has a browser based application which is very lightweight and it is also responsive in nature that would mean that it does not require a lot of high configuration from your end and you can access it across any device it will be adaptive it will be responsive across any screen size at any device so your user experience stays intact at every uh, sort of instance at the same time it gives you all kinds of customizations and personalization features it has advanced interactive charts for a technical and fundamental analysis people don't really consider that but fundamental analysis is also very very crucial you can go back to as long as 20 years of historical data for uh, that particular set um, it gives you research reports it's, it's a full service stock broker so they give you all kinds of research reports on industries on stocks and daily quarterly weekly monthly yearly level so you can access uh, those particular aspects within the trading application and uh, the basic features such as watch list or market watch are also accessible within the tra uh, trading software so again from the recommendations point of view this is certainly a highly recommendable trading platform simply because of the reason that it does not limit you with any kind of device or browser and it's also giving you decent performance and all kinds of technical fundamental features at the same place now next in place is blink which is a terminal based software you need to download this and install this on your desktop and laptop it is high performance in nature so when we talk about high performance trading applications we are talking about um, some of the top ones in the market let's say from zerda iifl uh, then there are from motilal oswal pipes is also doing good in trading application for terminal based softwares only so from that particular perspective blink is also doing decently we will soon be coming up with a detailed review of blink as of now we don't really have it but uh, in the future in few weeks or so we will be coming up with a video and a detailed article on blink software again from a recommendation point of view be free to use it it is going to give you a decent performance uh, and high speed for your order execution but only concern with blink is uh, all the web based and the mobile application we have discussed are free uh, as long as your client of HTC securities but Blink is a software that comes with a subscription price simply because it's got all kinds of features. It's pretty exhaustive in nature. So they have set it at a price of around 3000 for six months. And uh, if you can commit for a longer period, then you need to pay 4000 for one year. Once you do that, you have access to it. Otherwise, you can stay with the uh, web based or the mobile application. So it really comes to your preferences, your trading style and behavior. And based on that, you can pick a specific trading platform. Now, let's go back to the retail review. So from trading platforms, now let's talk about pricing. We already gave you an idea that STFC Securities is slightly expensive. For opening an account, you need to pay around 1000 rupees. And to maintain your account with STFC, every year you need to shell out 750 rupees. So from industry standards, it's certainly one of the most expensive ones. Um, when it comes to brokerage, again, the number is pretty much high at 0.5% for delivery. We'll have a detailed look at pricing uh, going back to our list of blogger.com now. So this is the pricing page of HTFC Securities at ourdigitalblogger.com. We will be putting out the link in the description of this video for your reference. So we've talked about the account opening fees. Then we have the brokerage charges. Now think uh, and check out it very closely here. Um, for delivery trades, the brokerage is minimum 25 rupees and uh, it also can go up to 0.5% of your trade value, whichever is higher is going to be your brokerage. So you have to pick from one of them. Then similarly, within delivery trades, your uh, tax is around 0.1% of your transaction value. So you have to think from other perspectives too, there are 
a lot of other costs involved in your overall payments then if we talk about uh, uh, other segments here in case of let's say square of trades brokerage is again at 0 0.05 percent um, so for delivery it's at 0.5 and other uh, sort of segments uh, it stays at 0 0.05 percent or 25 rupees whichever is higher so at any point in time your minimum brokerage with HDFC securities is going to be 25 rupees Going ahead, uh, I mean, you can check the whole sort of structure of pricing of HDFC securities at this page go by going one by one and trying to understand not just brokerage here, but all kinds of taxes. You can do some maths uh, depending on your trading style. I mean, if you are trading at a smaller capital, if you are a beginner or a small investor, then probably you just need to take care of the brokerage part. But if you are a heavy trader, or let's say even if I'm a medium trader, even in that particular case, you should actually go ahead and do some maths uh, for yourself. Similarly, for currency, we have uh, stuff written here in uh, uh, digitalblogger.com. So these are different sort of prices involved uh, with HDFC securities. Don't just stay uh, complacent with the account opening or annual maintenance or brokerage charges. There are a bunch of other costs involved and you should be aware of that. Otherwise, you might think these are hidden charges. Moving ahead, we talk about exposure, leverage, or some people also call it margin. In case of equity intraday, you can have exposure up to 20 times, and you also get some delivery exposure twice the value of your uh, trading account balance. For example, in case we have trading account balance of 10,000 rupees, you can trade up to 2 lakh rupees. Uh, for intraday trades and up to 20,000 rupees for delivery. In other segments, we have not mentioned values here because these are negotiable in nature. While you're opening an account with them, you will not get any exposure whatsoever in future and options in equity and currency. But by time when you start making profits and when the bank or the HD securities itself start getting some sort of trust on your trades, they might start opening some values of exposure for you in these segments. But equity intraday and delivery, yeah, you might have some value starting from point zero. So finally, let's talk about uh, positives and negatives of HDFC securities. We'll start with positives first. So the customer service is actually good. I um, mean, as compared to a lot of other stock brokers, especially the bank based ones, HDFC securities is most probably a uh, unique or a rare case where they have a decent uh, customer service structure in place in terms of communication channels in terms of the quality of the resolution you might be expecting from them similarly when it comes to research reports and recommendations they do a fairly good job uh, they are pretty much close to some of the full service mainstream stock brokers generally what happens is people think that these are bank based stock brokers their business is primary business is banks and it's not stock broking but HDFC securities also comes back uh, with the point of of research reports and recommendations and does a decent job there as well um, in terms of the brand trust as we talked initially they've been there for a while STFC bank has been able to leverage a lot of brand equity in the last couple of decades they've been around so you can certainly trust on them they provide you a three-in-one demand account which obviously is a positive with any bank based stock broker and so is the case of uh, in the case of uh, SDFC security and especially for NRI they have got a separate section altogether for NRI trading. Not many stock brokers provide NRIs or NRO accounts, but HFC Securities does have that window open for you. Now, these are few positives or advantages. When it comes to negatives, obviously the money factor is huge. Their account opening and maintenance charges are high. Brokerage is super high. Um, some people call it uh, value for money, but again, when it comes to the kind of brokerage charges at 0.5% for delivery and 0.05 for intraday, well, some people might call it expensive. So do we. So in a sense, we definitely see them as an expensive stock broker. Their trading platforms are good. We're talking about negatives here, but we like to mention that the yeah, trading platforms uh, from SD Securities are also doing a good job. You can certainly trust on them. Um, but it would have been great if they put the Blink software for free. They are charging around 3,000 to 4,000 rupees depending on the duration you can lock in yourself. But uh, that software could have been free. You cannot trade uh, in commodity segments. So that's one giveaway. Um, if you were looking to trade in uh, commodities, but you can't really do that if you are a client of HDFC Securities. Other than that, it's a safe stock broker. It is expensive in nature. In fact, one of the most premium stock brokers when it comes to money. But it gives 
gives uh, a fairly good services in different uh, sort of aspects uh, we, uh, we, we have been talking about. So if you are looking to get a call back from STFC Securities, what you can do is check out this link rdistroblogger.com slash HDFC Securities open demat account. We will be putting out this link in the description of the video for you. Uh, once you put the details, we will be setting up your call back with HDFC Securities. However, if it doesn't match your preferences, what you can do is check out this other link HDFC rdistroblogger.com slash free call back broker choice. Put in your specific preferences. What are you expecting from your stock broker and your details and we will be setting a couple of callbacks for you absolutely free so that's it for the video thank you so much for watching it we hope you liked it in case you did please go ahead and press the thumbs up button we will really appreciate that you can also subscribe to our channel a digital blogger for similar videos in the future thank you so much for watching the video again bye bye